We are at Brookfield Zoo Chicago and we're about to ride the anniversary Ferris wheel. It is 110 feet tall and basically it's here for the 90th anniversary of Brookfield Zoo Chicago. So let's go! Since opening its gates on July 1, 1934, Brookfield Zoo has been a beloved destination for families. This year, they celebrate their 90th anniversary by changing its name to Brookfield Zoo Chicago. This name change not only honors the contribution of their parent organization, the Chicago Zoological Society, but also marks a new era for them. Alongside their name change, they have introduced a new logo, moving from the familiar bison to the majestic lion. Come join us as we visit the first new attraction of 2024, the Anniversary Ferris Wheel. Welcome back, Grouse Crew. We have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. Hey, last time we were here, it was Christmas and it was dark, so it's really not different with the sun out. Look at this. In 2024, all these things are coming. There's the anniversary Ferris wheel, which we're going into today. Dolphin returns March 22nd. North American Prairie. Aviary. Aviary, early summer. That's for birds. That's awesome. And koalas, early summer. And Tropical Forest, a new one, open 2025. The three things you have to see while we're here is the Tropics World, the new baby giraffe, and of course, the anniversary Ferris wheel. Oh, there's Tropic World not too far from the Ferris wheel. Yeah, we were a little nervous that it might have been closed because uh, it looks like the new version is going to be coming out, but looks like it is open this time so for all those parents hey oh look the strollers have lines now that's new <laughs> there's like little line marks something you should know about rosalie is she wants to be a vet at a zoo so we want to foster that intrigue she has right now by taking her places like this even as a kid i love this place because it looks like you're in a jungle look how big this place is see him yeah. right down there the one thing coming here during the spring, it's not packed at all. We got here right where it opened. Usually this place is just crowded with people. You know where the Philippines is? Asia. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look. Oh. That's a gibbon. A white cheeked gibbon. And one of my favorite ones are the orangutans. And Rosie said, oh, there they are. There's two of them. Oh. And it's eating a leaf. So now we are in Africa. Let's see what we can spot. What are you excited to see the most while we're here? Gorillas. Gorillas. Okay, let's look for a gorilla. Planet of the Apes is Rosie's favorite movie. But I think she is more team ape than team human. There's two more. Oh, three. There's one laying down over there, too. Look how small they are compared to the big guy you saw. Yeah, generally I go to the zoo during the summer times, but coming here during the springtime, I think it's better because it's less busy. We noticed that Rosalie had a lot of pent up energy still, so we just let her have fun and play at the park at the zoo. So when we're places like this, we try to eat before everybody or after everybody. So it's around 11 o'clock. This way uh, we save some uh, time instead of just waiting in line with everybody else. All right, Leslie got her hot dog. I got a burger and Melissa some healthy salad. <laughs> Our family needs to do better at looking at maps because we just wander around and <laughs> we missed it. Okay, we got distracted by the wolves. This wolf has only three legs. All right, look, there's a giraffe. It's outside and it's really close to where everybody's at. We gotta hurry up before it moves away. Look at all these giraffes. Oh man, 
We heard that the baby giraffe was going to be in Brookfield's Habitat Africa, the Savannah exhibit. We searched high and low looking for Mama Arnita's baby calf. The female giraffe calf was born on August 19, 2023. As we looked around, we finally found her. This youngster's name ended up being Kinda, rhymes with Linda, and it has Swahili and Arabic origin that means beautiful. Now, where's that Ferris wheel? A polar bear is 10 feet tall, and here's Melissa. <laughs> Five foot tall, with shoes. <laughs> so this just opened yesterday. There was a ribbon cutting ceremony, and I saw it on TV, so we had to come here today. And here is the new Ferris wheel. Look how big it is. So there's 24 different gondolas, it holds up to six people and at night this whole thing lights up with led so if you're looking to get tickets it's right next to the ferris wheel it's right over there all right we got our tickets oh this looks so exciting so this ferris wheel just opened yesterday it's nice to be one of the first probably within the first 24 hours to ride the ferris wheel and what's nice is the there's glass that keeps the wind but it feels kind of outdoor because it's a little open with a little canopy just in case it rains look at oh well, look at chicago Oh, she... oh, that's right there. Yeah. You could see the construction over there for the new um, uh, tropical world exhibit that they're doing. They're building onto it. Do you see it? Yeah. I think it's supposed to be open that's, in 2025. Yeah, 2025. Yeah, there's something about these uh, Ferris wheels that gives you that old school feel. After all these technologies, Ferris wheels pretty much stayed the same. I like it. It's a great view of the whole zoo. Yeah, it looks like the line's starting to get longer. I bet you in the summer, it's gonna be pretty busy. Yep. Oh man, got a good view up there. Glad we were able to check it out. Man, that Ferris wheel is pretty fun. It got pretty high up, it was like an aerial view. Yeah, I got a good view of the city too. Like, I always like the uh, Brookfield Zoo Chicago. I always like coming here. Click the video link right here for more zoo adventures.